everything that we do is based off of movement. Movements then create emotions. Movements then create your cognitive process. The movement has to come first. Natural delivery under a uh, non-stressed condition is, is the way we are meant to give birth. There are deviations to that. There are going to be a lot of people jumping saying, but I've had a C-section. And, and, that, and they'll, all that's fine. You know, right now it's the health and well-being of the mother and the child and whatever the doctor feels is necessary to make that happen. However, we are meant to move. It, it's not that I drove to Walmart. I was, the movement I was doing was driving a car. I have to use my peripheral vision. I have to use my spatial orientation. I have to have my, my or depth of field. Um, I have to have uh, my, my sense of balance getting in and out of the car. You know, my organization, my horizons. One of the biggest things that's happening right now with COVID is we don't have long distance viewing, right? Our viewing is getting very short. You're really going to see these the kids that are doing, you know, chronic online learning. Um, chronic, I just mean, again, lack of movement. You know, they're looking at a screen basically like I'm looking at my phone right now to you. And it's not going from here to long distance and back. And, you know, you're not using your active passive convergence. You're not using your peripheral vision. Um when you're looking at things like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, what helps? Exercise, bicycles, and pole walking, dancing. These all have social-based rotational movements. They're meant to help. You know, they look at it as balance, strength, and coordination, but really what they don't realize is that they're increasing the rotational movements within that nervous system. The rotational movements, and I know it seems simple, yet complex with movement lesson, that's our system, our body's language. That's the brain's language. We learn to learn through weight transfer, rotational movements, and opposing gravity. It is that simple. You know what the one movement that we adults have lost with our evolution? Over the shoulders. We don't hang laundry anymore. We're not, you know, hunting, spearing. We're not pruning trees. Some of us still are but those are the ones that have a more active brain. It's not sitting there using Sudoku. Even going to the gym and so forth, um, I'm always using rotational movements, right? I don't do linear-based exercises, meaning if I'm doing an overhead press, I always change it to add in that rotation. If you don't move it, you lose it, is just the old saying. So if we can't look at depression separately, we have to still evaluate the system. I still would go after, for depression, what's the vision doing, right? Because our vision changes with age. Is the person going through a visual changes that it's just hard? Um, are they, depending on age, are they starting to shrink? You know, if you have your whole life, it's let's say six foot, right? And now you're five foot ten. Your perceptions for short-term memory are different than your long-term memory because you have different spatial organizations. As we were growing up and going through a growth spurt, throw and catch, all those kind of things. We did these for a reason. Not to go play with professional teams, but to organize our system, depth of field. Again, when I'm driving a car, I can get into anybody's car and drive it. A truck, a this, a sedan, no problem. Change the mirrors and I'm good to go. Some people, man, if it's not their car and if it's not, you know, they get very particular. Those brains are not doing well. Um, so vision still has to be checked. To me, is just a priority. Functional vision, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? Our vision is meant to do these things and organize. Are we doing any kind of things where, where again, we're opposing gravities with oppositional rotation? That would be really a big one, you know. Uh, even if you look at, like, uh, uh, the, the aerobics that we did in Zumba versus, again, what is being done now is all lower, lower, lower. Um, not necessarily a good thing. Biggest thing with depression, and, and I'm actually working with the munchkin right now that just it's more medical, but it's 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 coming up as depression. Her system got too heavy. There's something going on in her body that changed her viscosity rate changes, and her system's too heavy. So these are just some of my thoughts, and enjoy, but I love your comments. Thanks.